thanks for joining. If you're new here, I'm Wendy and this is Nina's Jewels. My husband and I buy things at garage sales, thrift stores, and flea markets to sell online and flip for a profit. If that's content you're interested in, you're in the right place. Today's video is going to be what sold for the week of February 19th through 25th. All right, guys, let's get started. So the first thing we sold was a, a print of a painting by the artist Charles M. Russell. The size of it was 17 by 10 and a half, and we have a lot of these. In fact, we have so many that they're in a pad that you like, you tear off like their pages. Um, and we sell these every once in a while, like not very often. So we, we actually sell them pretty cheap because we have them, um, we have so many of them. And we sold this one for $13 um, on, off, on Best Offer. And uh, we had acquired this from another business that we own. We uh, acquired a lot of old stock from that business that um, it no longer has any use for. Uh, next up on the list was a pair of men's Uggs. They were like some fleece-lined chukka boots that sold for $60. We had gotten these at the flea market when um, there was like a, this big pile of shoes that we dug through and were having to hunt for all of the mates. But this particular pair um, sold for $60 and we had paid $3 per pair for all the, the ones that we got from this shoe mountain. <laughs> Um, and we did get positive feedback from this buyer. Next up was um, something that we got in the Goodwill bins. And it was a brand that I'd never heard of. The brand was Tim Holtz. It seems to be like a scrapbooking, crafting brand. And we got several items by this brand that day at the Goodwill bins. And almost everything that we got by this brand sold. So it's definitely something that we're going to be on the lookout for in the future. And anytime I see it, I'm going to pick it up because it has sold really well. Um, but this, this particular sale was for um, scrapbooking tape and it sold for $10.98 and we had paid 67 cents for it. It sold on offer to buyer and we got positive feedback for it. Next up was something that we have had in our store for a long time, but we finally did sell it for $19.38. It was an Ann Taylor Loft chunky like, pullover sweater. We got it at the thrift store for $2.42 and the buyer was happy with it. We got positive feedback. Next up was another item that the buyer was really happy with. It was a um, Dandy brand. Um, it was like a big, it was 20 inches, holiday uh, 2019 Christmas bear. And they were particularly looking for this bear because their grandchild, one of their grandchildren had this bear and the other one wanted it. And so they were having a hard time finding it and they were really excited to see that we have it in our store. And we had found this at a thrift store. We had paid, it was new with tags. We had paid $2.71 for it and they paid $31.50 on um best offer. And like I said, we got really good positive feedback from them. Next up was a 2004 Safari brand PVC uh, horse figurine that we had gotten at the flea market for $10.98 and it sold on offer to buyer. We got positive feedback on that as well. Got a lot of positive feedback this time, which I like. <laughs> like that better than negative feedback, that's for sure. Um, next up was a um, Bagalini brand sling backpack purse that we had gotten in the Goodwill bins. You, you might have seen this on our um, Seen It, Harry Potter Seen It video, which I'll link above. Uh, it sold almost immediately for $39.99, and we had gotten this for $0.67 cents at the Goodwill bins. So I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for any more Bagalini. That is definitely something I'll pick up when I see it at the right price. Next up is another item we got in the Goodwill bins, and it was um, Airsoft BBs. They were new in the package. Uh, they, these were in our store for a really long time. And then when we were doing our inventory refresh, I updated the title of this, and I think I lowered the price by a couple dollars, and it sold pretty quickly after that for $23.78 on offer to buyer. And we had paid only 67 cents for this at the Goodwill bins, and we got positive feedback on this. 
Um, one thing to note on selling um, Airsoft BBs, or I think BBs of any kind, you cannot sell these um, internationally. So you can't sell them through the Global Shipping Program or ship them internationally. So you can only sell them domestically. So be careful about listing anything like that. Next up was a 2022 McDonald's Happy Meal toy. Um, it was uh, the character Stitch from the recent movie. This came in one of our personal Happy Meals, so we didn't have any cost associated with it. It sold for $7, but unfortunately it was returned to us, like returned to sender from the post office, and it said insufficient address, returned to sender. And so when we got it back, I took a picture of the sticker from the post office on the envelope and sent a message to the buyer with that and said, um, we've gotten your package back. Um, it said insufficient address and I um, refunded their payment minus the shipping costs, which is a little bit of a challenge for us because we offer free shipping. So, you know, normally the buyer would expect to get their full payment back, but because we offer free shipping, it's not really fair for us if the buyer provides a bad address for us to have to eat the cost of that shipping. So I've confirmed with eBay in the past that it's okay to do that, to reduce the refund um, minus the shipping costs in the event of this, because we've had this happen before. But I never heard back from the buyer at all, like they never responded. So I, I had a feeling that I needed to hang on to that envelope as proof. And so I did, I held on to it. And actually yesterday, we had a return opened by the buyer for the remainder of the, um, the funds saying that they never received their item. And so I responded to the return request and provided the same information that I had provided to them in the message, along with a photo of the envelope with the sticker from the USPS. And I also reached out to eBay customer service and um, stated my case. And luckily eBay closed the case in our favor but they did end up refunding the buyer out of their own cost. So we did not have to um, provide, we didn't have to refund the buyer out of our funds. eBay refunded the buyer out of their funds. So it was kind of a win-win for both of us. And I was really glad that eBay backed us up on that. So that ended up working out. Uh, next up was a, uh, the brand is J Story and it was um, a, like a post-it note, peel and stick, weekly calendar. Uh, this is something that was sold at the container store, but we got it in the Goodwill bins. It sold for $11.99 and we had paid 61 cents. We got positive feedback on that. Next up was something we got at a, um, a garage sale for 50 cents. And it was a vintage 1989 plastic door cover, Christmas door cover. And that sold for $11.18 on offer to buyer. Next up was a uh, laser printer cartridge, like an, just an off brand. It wasn't a name brand one. And we had gotten like a lot <laughs> of toner cartridges from um, a liquidation lot that we had purchased from a local business. Uh, it was so much, in fact, that it filled my car up two times. And I'll put in a couple of pictures here of my car stuffed to the brim with donor cartridges. But um, we sell them every once in a while and uh, we have definitely made money on this purchase, but it's not something that I would purchase again because of the amount of space that it takes up. They just take up a lot of space and they don't sell quick enough that, that I think it was really worth it. But it's not like a, it's not a, we haven't lost any money on the deal. So I don't necessarily regret buying it. It's just not something I would seek out again because it takes up so much space. But this particular cartridge sold for $39.99 and we had paid $3.19 for each toner. Next up was um, an OEM package of Shark branded 
Sani Fiber Mop Cleaning Pads. Those we had gotten in the Goodwill bins. We paid 94 cents for them and they sold for $12. We got positive feedback on those. Next up was a package of five by seven creative memories scrapbooking pages that we had gotten in a big package of um, crafting items that I got at the thrift store. I paid 15 cents for those and they, they sold for $14.99. Next up was a really pretty black velvet burnout floor length evening gown, new with tags dress that we had gotten in the Goodwill bins by Live Fast, Lo Love Fast, Live Hard. And that sold for $64.99 and we had paid $1.68 for it. Uh, next up is a pair of leather embossed, they were embossed to look like crocodile. The brand was um, Antonio Milani. And we had these in our store for a really long time, but they did finally sell for $79.99, which was our full asking price. And we had paid $8.07 at the thrift store. Next up was another toner cartridge. It sold for $20 and we had paid $3.19 for it. Next up was one of the free magazines that we got from the big lot of free magazines um, that I sourced on Nextdoor. And the, it was a Cooking Light magazine from September 2009. The buyer paid $9.99 and our cost was zero. Next up was um, a piece of artwork that we got from the other business that we own. It was an etching, a vintage etching, like a mid-century etching. The artist, um, it, I think it's a French artist, so I'm probably going to butcher this name, but it's Jean Nante. And it sold for $111.09, uh, which was our full asking price, but we did have a sale on art in February. And the buyer was really, really happy with it. We got really nice feedback from them. Next up was a new with tags Beanie Baby um, that we had gotten in the Goodwill. Not no, we didn't get it in the Goodwill bins. We got it at a thrift store. But it was like bigger than a traditional Beanie Baby. Uh, and it was actually plush. It didn't have like, you know, the PVC pellets in it. So I don't really know why they called it a Beanie Baby, but it was branded Beanie Baby. Uh, and it was um, from the movie Finding Dory. The character was uh, Destiny. It was a whale. And it sold for $12.99 and we had paid 48 cents for it. And we do actually have another one of these that we got at the same time. Next up was a willow tree figurine that we found in the Goodwill bins. Um, I'll link the video where we found that in the Goodwill bins up above, but that sold for $19.99 and we had gotten it for 94 cents. Um, I see these willow tree figurines actually at a lot of estate sales and stuff, but they're always overpriced at estate sales, so I don't pick them up, but I think they, they do sell. So if you can get them at a good price, like we only paid 94 cents, so if you get them at like a garage sale or in the Goodwill bins or something, I would probably pick them up. But usually at estate sales, they're priced at like $5. I don't think that would probably be worth it. Next up was a Synergy brand therapy device that you use for um, like rehab. It was something that was new in package that we found at a thrift store. It sold for $39.99 and we had got, we had paid $3.24. Next up was a out, like a chef, it, the brand was Chef Revival and it was a two piece unisex um, chef outfit that we had gotten in the Facebook garbage bags of clothes that we, and our, our per item cost on those was 67 cents. Uh, the buyer paid $30 for that on uh, best offer. Next up was a package of glass seed beads that we had gotten in the Goodwill bins. Those sold for $14.99 and we paid 61 cents. Next was a really cute collar block dress from Bowdoin. We had gotten that at a thrift store. We paid $8.02 for it and it sold for $40.48. It went, um, I think it went to the UK through the global shipping program. Next up was another package of that Tim Holtz craft crafting 
supplies. This one was like a glitter glue package. Uh, it sold for $16.99. We had gotten it at the Goodwill bins for $0.67, cents, and we got positive feedback on that. Next up was a lot of two hand-carved onyx stone eggs that we got at a garage sale for $2. And those sold for $29.99. And if I didn't mention, we got those at a garage sale. Next up was another... Um, item by Bowden. We got this at a garage sale. We paid only 50 cents for it. It was a hot pink eyelet lace skirt, like pencil skirt. It sold for $35.99 and we got great feedback on that as well. Next up was something we got when we were doing retail arbitrage at Big Lots. We paid a dollar and eight cents for it and it was one of those um, best friend necklace sets where it has like the half and half. You give one to one person and one to another person. It sold for $11.99, but we did actually have this in our store for a really long time. Next up was, um, we had found a whole bunch of jewelry in the Goodwill bins, like tons. We have a lot of it. I'm wondering if we're ever gonna sell all of it. But we did sell one pair of earrings and it was, um, like a, a pair of four stone dangle earrings and the color that we sold was burgundy. It sold for $9.99 and we had paid 68 cents for those. Next up was something that I had gotten at our th local thrift store. It was um, a vintage Coates and Clark zipper and uh, you saw me, you may have seen this on our I, I Found Cinderella's Shoes sourcing video, mentioned that I always pick up so vintage sewing notions because they almost always sell for us even though they don't sell for a lot they always sell and this sold for six dollars and we had paid only 33 cents for it so um i sometimes i'll lock vintage sewing notions together with other vintage sewing notions but i find that they just sell really well individually on their own because people are usually looking for something really specific so um most of the time i just sell them individually on their own and they sell. Uh, next up was some more printer ink inkjet cartridges, but at this time they were something that were ours personally. We actually had a printer that died and these were the leftover printer cartridges that we no longer needed from that. These sold for $30 on, off, on best offer and um, we got positive feedback on that. Next up was a pair of Whataburger sunglasses. They were new in package. They um, sold for $14.99 and we had gotten these at the Goodwill bins. Next up was something that belonged to my daughter. It was a pair of Hannah Anderson knit, white knit cotton shorts. They sold for $10 and our, our cost was zero. Next up was another one of the free magazines. It was a clean eating magazine from January, February, 2010. Uh, we had gotten these um, on through the Nextdoor app. We had gotten like six boxes of free magazines, so many magazines, and they, they've been selling great. And the buyer paid $9.99 for these, for this magazine. Next up was something that we had gotten. I had bought a big box of clothing off of Facebook Marketplace, and it was supposed to be a big box of plus size clothing, but um, I did not, I didn't end up getting plus size clothing. I got all kinds of clothing. It was not a great deal, but um, this was in that. And it was a Zanana premium women's like swing mock, mock neck, turtleneck tunic. Um, and it sold for $15 on offer to buyer. No, on best offer. But we had sold this before and it was returned because there was a, a sizing issue. And so our all-in cost on this item was $8.70. So I think we, we actually lost money on this, on this item. But the buyer the second time around was happy with it and um, we got positive feedback on it. So I think it's, it is where it's gonna live now. It's not coming back to us again. Next up was a lot of five vintage Red Heart brand Baby Wintuck knitting yarn. And those sold for $22.48, and we had gotten those at the Goodwill bins. We paid $0.67. Cents. 
And then next up was something we got at an estate sale for $1. It was a brand new sealed Stand By Me cassette. Next was a pair of Echo Men's brown leather lace-up shoes that we got at a thrift store for $7.04 and the buyer paid $49.99. And last was a metal lunchbox, but it was not a vintage one. It was a modern metal lunchbox. And it was actually a little bit smaller, smaller than like a traditional lunchbox. So we listed it as a lunchbox or like a, a tote or a carry-all. And um, it was brand, it was like a Marvel Avengers theme. We had gotten that at a thrift store for $1.29 and it sold for $14. And the buyer was so happy with it. We got the nicest feedback from them. And then last, I always go over all of the collectible cards that were in my husband's personal collection that sold. And we sold 16 cards for a total of $47.83. And that wraps up this wet sold video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you hit that like button. And if this is content that you enjoy, please make sure to subscribe with the notification bells on so you can be informed of all of our latest videos. Thank you so much for joining us and we will see you guys next time. Bye.